my uh, research background uh, is in this field of business and human rights, and uh, I have started to work on uh, this topic since uh, 2017, uh, since um, uh, 24th uh, of February in uh, 2022, uh, we started to work on business and human rights in situation on conflict, and uh, I, I spent uh, four first months of the war in Ukraine uh, and um, in particular in Kharkiv and uh, um, the situation was quite hot and uh, it was um, it, it was actually interesting for me from the research perspective to see how business conduct in this situation and how um, this conduct could impact human rights. I am a theoretical physicist and I work on uh, non-equilibrium processes. I study relaxation, kinetic phenomena uh, in order to develop new materials, especially ferroelectric materials, uh, which are in demand in uh, future photovoltaics, laser equipment, uh, generators with high capacity. My research was uh, Absolutely theoretical. I mean, I'm a PhD in biophysics and uh, my major research interest is uh, computer simulations of the biological membranes, membrane proteins and interaction of the membranes with the drugs. Uh, I am psychologist by background. I was uh, the developer for first uh, clinical psychology master's program in Ukraine. Uh, we developed it uh, in um, Ukrainian Catholic University. It was master program in clinical uh, psychology with basis of CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy. In those time, I was a chair for psychological department. Uh, my main profession is a musicologist and a music teacher. I graduated from Kakiv Kotlarevsky University of Arts, uh, where I received a doctorate uh, in art history. And my thesis is uh, related to the musical theater. Uh, it is uh, devoted to the study of eight opera works uh, by a Russian composer Sergei Slonimsky. Uh, and uh, so my current uh, academic and research interests are in both music and the performing arts. Back in Ukraine, I work in biotechnology. Uh, mainly I work with orphan species, with species that they could compete with uh, normal cro crops, as we know. Uh, but somehow in the course of history, they didn't got the attention. So my mo main focus was on those orphan species, uh, on a possible alternatives of uh, oil seeds. The, basically, the idea was to enlarge the pool of uh, agricultural species uh, using wild relatives. I was a professor at the uh, uh, transport system and logistic department at uh, OM Beket of National University of Urban Economy. It's uh, situated in Kharkiv, Ukraine. And uh, I was there on the period of starting the war. And uh, so I was do regular things like teaching, uh, making research, and uh, usually other stuff that <laughs> usually researchers do, like academic stuff done, have received some and achieve some uh, experience, international experience uh, in Europe. I'm a psychologist, uh, to make it a little bit more detailed, cognitive psychologist, a little bit of a neuroscience, and right now getting into the longitudinal research. And uh, actually, uh, the, the research that we have planned uh, for this fellowship is also concerning uh, longitudinal data. I, I, I was a doctoral student at the National University of Odessa Law Academy. Uh, and now I'm an MSCA for Ukraine doctoral fellow at University of Bergen, Norway. My background is in uh, legal research with a focus of uh, international law and human rights. Be before the MSCA for Ukraine fellowship, I was actively involved in conducting research on various legal issues pertaining on human rights violation and conflict situations. Uh, I am a professor, a doctor in the field of uh, comparative linguistics. And the, the last 20 years, I have been successfully combined uh, um, administrat administrative positions with the scientific research. My primary 
area of uh, expertise lies uh, in the comparative uh, study of languages.